Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan. In this video, we are going to discuss about the best use of recursive CTE in SQL. It's a part three of three of this CTE series. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. There's a management studio of the SQL Server I opened here. To use this recursive CTU in interview questions as well, we are going to ask, can we generate a series of numbers from one to 100 without using any table? Right, it is possible in using the CT. To do that, first of all, we need to declare the CT. I made a video series about the CT part one and part two. If you haven't seen that, just go and see by using the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, we have to declare the width CT1 as the CT name and then open bracket. And then I'm using this select one as a serial number. That's it. So by executing this, we just got the column name serial number and then one as its value. And then I'm using the union all function and select serial number. This is the column name plus one from the CT1 I am using this CT inside to that CT itself. That is called it is recursive CT. And then I am applying the where condition, the serial number is less than 100. Because it is going to keep on add, it is going to loop the CT by itself. So I am restricting it to less than 100. And then close the bracket. And then we can use select star from CT1. By executing this query, we got this result from 1 to 100 without use of any table which is available on the database of the SQL Server. This one thing. And next thing you might be questioned in the, your interview is can we create a date series without the use of any table in SQL Server like the way which you have created 1 to 100. Yes, it is also possible. The same way we had to do it here with CT1 as open bracket and then select get date as transaction date. So I'm executing this now. So it will give me the current date of the system with the date time. So today is 9th of August. We got this value and then I'm using this union all. After that, I'm using the select. I'm using this SQL function date add. Once you have opened up here, you'll get an option like we can add a day, month, week or year as well. Comma minus one. I'm going to reduce the value from current date to minus by minus. Comma the transaction date, which is this the column transaction date. Closing the brackets from the CT1. So I'm calling this CT same again where the transaction date greater than 8.2. So today is 9th of August, so I'm taking it here greater than 82 here. Close the bracket and select star from CT1 order by transaction date. By executing this, we got this result from 1st of August to 9th of August. Those two are interview questions. And now let's have a look at the practical example. How we can use it, the recursive CTU in your practical environment. Let's take an example of this one. I have this employee table. In this, I have employee ID, first name, last name, a title, department, and their manager ID. On seeing the title, we know that he is a CEO and he is a vice president and he is a sales representative. But we don't know the level of the employee, level, level 0, 1, 2, 3. In order to find that, we can use the recursive CTU to find the level of the employee. Now let's take an example of this. I have written the with CT with direct report as a CT name as and then open bracket. And then I'm taking this select manager ID, employee ID, and then the first name adding with the last name as an employee name, title, and then zero. I'm just making it manually here. Zero as employee level because employee level initially is zero to take the highest level as CEO. In some companies, in some companies, they have MD, 
as the highest position and in some company they have the chairman as the highest position so i'm taking that from the employee if i run this one where manager id is null because there is no superior from that employee if i execute this then i got this this is a ceo of this company and this employee level is zero and then i'm adding this union all function i am using the same table employee id employee first name last name title and here the employee level i am taking employee level plus 1 actually this employee level is coming from the above query which you have written here this employee level is taking here i am adding this table here employee table and then inner joining to the same ct here so this employee level will come from this ct inner join the same ct on manager id and then equal to employee id and then close the ct if you execute the select star from this ct direct reports order by employee id fy now we got this manager id and employee id and the name and then the title of that employee and the level of the employee here ken is the ceo of the company so level is 0 and david is marketing manager its level is 2 actually the second position is brian he is the vice president of sales and the level is 1 after that the second position is the david he is a marketing manager and then the stephen he is also sales manager and said abbas he is a pacific sales manager and below to them the people are working here these are the sales representative so by using this ct we can easily get the level position of the employee within this organization so it's actually a real world case and solution using the ct in sql so these are the ways which you can use the request ct to create the tables and it will be helpful for you in your real world as well as for the interview purpose as well if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video